Here we're going to look at question 3 from section 2 of the BMAT 2014 paper. So in this question we're given four statements and asked which of these statements is or are correct if there's multiple. So putting those statements up now, um, the first is that microwaves have a shorter wavelength than all other electromagnetic waves. Uh, the second is that for identical amplitudes, waves with the largest wavelengths transfer the most energy. Now the third is that the speed of electromagnetic waves is inversely proportional to their frequency. And the final statement is that ultraviolet, ultraviolet radiation can cause cataracts. Um, so if you'd like to have a go at this question yourself, then just please pause the video now. Um, otherwise, let's have a go at it together. So to answer this question, uh, let's do what is generally the best thing to do whenever you get questions such as this. And let's go through the statements one at a time um, and see if they're going to be true or false independently. So the first statement is that microwaves have a shorter wavelength than all other electromagnetic waves. Um, well, to try and answer this question, we can think about the spectrum of electromagnetic waves that we know. Um, and the spectrum which might come to mind goes um, from radio all the way up to gamma, um, with all the other wavelengths being in between these um, two wavelengths. So uh, radio have the longest wavelengths and gamma have the shortest. Um, now straight away, this tells us that uh, microwaves do not have the shortest wavelength because we know that radio, uh, gamma, sorry, has the shortest, with microwaves being somewhere in here. Um, so this question, or this statement, sorry, is going to be a false one. Um, let's go ahead and look at the second statement next. So this statement says that for identical amplitudes, waves with the l uh, longest wavelength transfer the most energy. Uh, so to go about answering this one, then let's think about how wavelengths are related to energy. Um, well, we've just spoken about wavelengths um, actually in the previous statement. So we know that they go from radio all the way up to gamma. Um, now, one thing you might think about gamma actually in particular, um, and this end of the spectrum, which has like x-rays in it, for example, um, is that they're really high energy radiation. So actually, this spectrum um, is going to go from the least energy all the way up to the most energy. Um, wavelength is actually inversely proportional to um, energy. So the shorter the wavelength, the bigger the energy. Um, so this is actually going to be false. It's going to be the absolute opposite of this statement. Waves with the largest wavelengths transfer the least energy. Um, so this statement is going to be false as well. And now let's go ahead and look at our third statement, which is that the speed of electromagnetic waves uh, is inversely proportional to their frequency. Um, so let's try and think of an equation which is going to relate uh, speed to frequency of waves. Uh, and the standard one with, um, uh, when talking about waves, sorry, uh, is this equation here, that c equals f lambda. So from this equation, straight away, we can see that the speed of waves, c, um, is proportional to both their frequency um, and their wavelength. So actually, this statement is going to be false too. Um, the speed of electromagnetic waves is just proportional to their frequency, uh, with no inversely at all. So that brings us on to our fourth and final statement, that ultraviolet radiation can cause cataracts. Um, well, this is something actually which I've never heard of. Um, but if we look at the answers, then we can see that one of the statements has to be correct. Um, and we know the other three are false. So um, there's no option for them all to be incorrect. So we know that this one must just be correct by process of elimination. Um, and therefore, our final answer is just going to be D.